I didn't have, <laughs> I accidentally closed that down while I was trying to deal with the immature person that came on live. This is why I need to create more moderators. So yes, if you've joined me back again, thank you. Uh, welcome back. Sorry about that. Anyway, let me entertain you. And I am going to add, <laughs> I'm just getting up my computer because I didn't have Paula in here and I've not distributed rights to people and it's very hard when you're trying to do a live <laughs> and watch what people are saying that are naughty. So if you just bear with me, I'm just going to add a few people to this and be able to see what we go here. <laughs> hey Miranda, thank you Yorkie for coming back. Christine with a K, here we go. Uh, Christina, welcome. Manny dear, welcome. Lee Newcomb, oh, thank you. Oh, Lee, do you know how to block people? If you do, brilliant. That's gonna <laughs> save me stressing. I didn't want to, I didn't want people to get really offended by any idiot on there that was gonna be doing this kind of stuff. So, um, if you've got the power, that's brilliant. And if we still have any issues now, Oh, I've got Echo. I've got my other one up, which is the main one, so I should be able to then hopefully uh, kick people myself. But let's get back to my turtle. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. Again, take two. And I am going to start now just blocking in this. I will try my hardest to keep looking at chat to see what everybody's saying, make sure you're okay. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to hopefully get lost in my process and you're going to see, hopefully this beautiful creature come alive while we're at it. So what I was doing was mixing up my my cream. A little bit of the di di the dioxazine purple. Couldn't get that in. A little bit of the yellow. I'm going to go quite light to start with because then it's easy to correct if there are any issues. But I don't want to mix too much of batch because it is acrylic so it does dry incredibly quick. Yes, turtle photo. It's a reference one. <laughs> That's the kind of spirit that we're going to be trying to capture on our ex um, on our piece today. Yes, this is the this is a reference photo. This is one that I'm now working on. So I am just showing you what it is that I'm doing. I try and with my paintbrush as well. I try to drag it in the area where. I feel the angles are going to go and at this stage you might think well why are you doing why are you doing cream first Sharon well because the turtle has so many different spots I find it's easier to come in with the cream and then add your brown on top in your patches rather than doing your patches and then trying to get the cream in between I hope I, I hope that made sense but I'm going to try and make him smooth so that he is not going to have um, too many hideous lines going through him that's not purposeful anyway so I just painted in my white reference lines just for myself and then I'm going to start to hopefully bring him alive and keep tweaking it and all I'm doing is glancing over to the photo, uh, just as a reference. This is only my, whoo, is this my third turtle? Or third turtle piece that I will have created. I'm okay, I hope you okay. Welcome Paula. Good morning in Vancouver, welcome so early. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's been a few dramas already, but luckily Lee, uh, Lee helped me out. We have Sunday morning shenanigans. It's always sad sometimes when you see the back of the, uh, not the back, what am I trying to say? Some of your backdrop disappearing. But it's also the beauty of it because it shows you that our Mr. Mr. Turtle, uh, which you'll have to come up with a name for him, is going to be coming alive for us. It doesn't matter if some of the blue tones come through because we will be coming back with blue tones 
later anyway and if you look at them they look very old and, and wrinkly anyway so lines can be a benefit anyway so I'm roughly mopping in that I think mopping in mapping in do I think that's where I'm going to put his head I'm quite happy with that I'm not happy with the brush I'm using now I need a rounder brush let me go and get one I've either got very small brushes or very large brushes I don't have my in-between sizes along the way I've been using them for different projects and I've not put them back where they're meant to be okay so I'm now going to make my brown a little bit darker so I'm going to add a little bit more dioxazine uh, maybe a little bit it's going to go purple to start with but don't worry about that if we add a little bit yellow it'll go darker Because what I want to do is just start to work out where his eye socket's going to be, where the patch is at the top. Uh, that's a bit darker than it was. Did I get red on there? Wow, that's from another brush look. How bad's that? I thought all that red had gone. Glad I saved that before it became an issue. Oh, <laughs> Wendy, thank you so much. <laughs> I've had a, uh, I want to say troubling start to the day. I mean, I use that loosely, but uh, it was a little bit of, holy moly, how do I get this person out of here that is absolutely being a terrible person? Now, this has gone slightly darker because I just want to start mapping out where I am going to put the dark spots so it's just something I do you don't need to do that you do whatever you think but I don't want to be too I want to be non-committal at this stage if that makes sense with where I'm going to put his dark spots and make sure that I'm happy with where it is you may I don't know if you can see that you should be able to so I'm trying to work out where is his nose going to be now everything is up the top part here and it has to be before it gets to the shell so you look around here and I'm sort of working out his nose is just about in line or under where the shell is so his nose will be and then at least I know I knows <laughs> I'm on the right track and again it doesn't have to be photorealism otherwise you may as well just stick that photo on here so his nose is going to be in that area and then his eyes are going to come just under the nose, but at an angle. So it starts roughly lower. So I'm going to do that there and bring him in there. Then I can see where his eyes roughly are going to be. And do the same here. On this picture, his head's slightly twisted, but I'm not going to do that. But his eyes don't come. There's roughly a nose in between his eye like one finger, one finger, one finger, one finger, one finger, one finger. And that's what you're, um, it sounds really weird saying that, but that's what you're looking at. Because if you can get your space in between your shapes right, things start to come together pretty quick. So I think roughly I'm happy, although there is some shading going around here. So I'm just going to know where that shading is going to come. So that'll be around there and there'll be some shading around there so I don't know if you can see where I start to angle my shapes as to where the head's going and that starts to help you understand where the 3d part will come along um hello Stacy hey, Cara and Julie and everybody else I'm so sorry that it's 8 45 in the morning in Oklahoma <laughs> but hopefully this will wake you up because I know that this could be a long process and selfishly, I want to have an evening. Um, I wanted to start a little bit earlier. So apologies. Then I thought this way people who can be here will be here. People that can't, it's okay. Sorry, his nose point's going down there. And you are coming and seeing me just mapping out the colours, where they're going and the shapes on his face. And I'll tweak it as I go. 
where I like to start with my lighter to darker shades to start with only because that really helps understand if I feel the perspective of him is going to represent a turtle. All right, so I believe I will have got um, the proportions of his head fairly okay. And so I'm going to try and start to put a little bit of poisonality in him, as my nan and would say. It was raining a little bit this way, Stacey. Hello, Claudia. So Claudia is almost bedtime there. Hello Funo, welcome. Now I'm going to try and make this even darker now um, because I want to start committing to my shapes. So I've added a lot more purple in there. Let's see if I've got enough yellow in there. See how that turned it into quite a nice darker brown. So I'm going to start committing, but I need to check that I've got the right brush. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect brush. Oh, I've got, got my hands stuck. Let me just get that sorted. Bear with me, people. I'm on my travels. Well, I think I've got it. I've got brushes everywhere. I need to sort through all this. All right, I am back, I am back, I am back. Hopefully you will start connecting with him the way I will as his personality comes out. So I'm gonna go even darker now, hopefully. Now this will have to come back through with tones of um, blue, tones of dark blue, tones of dark brown. But, that's all going to keep growing and I think that's if you don't do it already it's all about layering it's all about taking your time and building him up with stages and I believe that's what helps give you that 3d look or it takes a good painting I think to a great painting but I'm Sharon and I'm digressing okay what's going on there he's got a little slant so I just want to round him off a little bit there around him off a little bit there okay and that needs to come around a little bit there to join the shape of the face so we're starting to see his spots coming alive now my cat is transfixed by what Sharon is doing laying on my laptop staring at it oh it's because he wants the br I reckon he wants the brush or he's thinking there's gonna be a fish in there <laughs> <laughs> you kicked him out for good. Thank you, Paula. I think I need to give all the members the power to be able to do it so that they can step in and step in out at a, a glance because it sent Sharon into a panic mode. <laughs> all right, let's. We're doing his little nose now. He's got a triangle, so I'm focusing on a triangle, and then he's got two little circles here, and then he's almost got like two little circles there. And I'm saying like a lot, but that's okay. <laughs> And then around here, he is going to have, see I think this probably needs to be a little wider. So I'm going to come in and widen him here a little bit because this is his biggest patch there. And again, just, just find a photo that you bond with. And again, remember not to try and make it photo real. It's, you're just trying to understand shapes. You're trying to understand what sort of pattern the turtle has. And then you're trying to get it to look 3D. 3D, yeah, we're going with that because that's a new word. All right, then he has something that comes around his height here. It's almost like a little pointy thing there. And then we have another dark patch there, dark patch there, dark patch there. And hopefully you might start to see him popping out a little bit to you soon. I reckon, this is where I get the most inspired part to me is if I can make his face start to come alive. Then I'm like, right, you've got this, Sharon. Come on, you can do it. He has little pot patches here. And then it comes back down and around the eye. 
and then down. But he's got more of a shadow here. And then he's got a little, well, a little, a little bit there, but it's the big part that sort of comes around where his cheeks will be. And I don't have to get every blemish the same on here. You, like if you're doing it, don't stress if it's if it's not going to be exactly the same markings on here. You're just wanting to understand the principle, and you're wanting to understand markings that a turtle have. Because as I say, if you wanted photorealism to this, print out a picture and stick it on your art. Okay. And then he has a little shadow under his nose and a line down there. The reason I'm talking out, by the way, it's not because I'm trying to fill air. I'm trying my best to talk out loud as to what I'm doing and why. And hoping that that's going to under help you understand what goes on in my head. CNR Heart, welcome. I'm just really happy that even though this is an impromptu one I've got as many of you in here as there is and that makes me very happy. I'm just going to get a thinner brush now just to paint him where his mouth's going to be or thin line. Hopefully it will encourage you all as well to see that there's a lot of backwards and forth, backwards and forth. I know that there might be very proficient people out there that can do it in one go and I take my hat off to you. For me it's just the dance of art. Keep working it until you're happy. Keep tweaking it until you're happy. Keep going back and ha having another perspective. It looks so miserable doesn't it? <laughs> oh, he got a miserable one then and then he's got his little beaky thing there. Alright, alrighty Roo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of my black because I want to just put those eyes in there and the nostrils just to start to hopefully bring them alive. Then have a little drink. Donna, you've done some turtles as well. Oh, Donna, make sure you join the Facebook group and post it if you have. Do you enjoy drawing them as well? I'm imagining you will. So I might do his eyes in purple to start with and then come back and add the black anyway. But his eye is going to be under his nose. This is where I start to work out if my proportions are correct or not. And then we tweak. We tweak and go. I quite like this one, Howie. So I know that his nostrils not going to be purple, it's going to be black, but it's just about building up the colours for me, with colours that are easier to fix. Alright, his eye goes across, down, down. Up and diagonal. Oops, knocked the camera. Let me just shove this chair back a little bit. Otherwise, every time I go backwards and forwards to see if it looks good, <laughs> I'm going to keep whacking you all because you know me, once I start to look from a perspective, I'm going to come back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yes, I am Cosmic Carol. I am early because I've had a few late nights and I want, I know this was going to be a very long one. So I thought I'm going to start early, then I get to enjoy my evening. I've got to clean my cupboards. I'm just looking at that eye there. It's more, more of a diamond and then like that. All right, now I am coming to the other side here. Turtles are becoming my new um, favourite creature to create. 
I just think there's so much character you can put in there. Old soulful eyes. And again, if your eyes are not quite right or your composition is not quite right at this stage, again, don't worry because we're going to keep painting around it and we're going to keep tweaking it until we're very happy with it. <laughs> it's going to be such a... <laughs> oh, his head's like closer together than on there. It's fatter on there. So I might start beefing him up a little bit and bringing him back to how he should be. So I'm going to start to bring through a few tones now. I'm going to bring some of the, the pre-made browns. It's got a warm tone in this one. So this one is a, a sienna, burnt sienna. And I'm going to just start to understand where. So I need to fatten up this part here to get him in perspective. I'm going to go down and up. I do need to come in with darker browns, but at the minute I'm just doing it again, this, because it's easier to go over lighter colours than it is darker colours. Just love the shapes on them. Sorry if my hand's in the way. Bear with me. I'm right handed. I should probably have my camera set up the other way, but. And again, I'm just referencing the shapes, but more to do with not trying to capture it. Um, photo reel, but just to understand. If it was going around the eye, what kind of shape would I see? Just to help with that 3D illusion and movements of shapes. <laughs> His purple eyes make him look wacky. to get rid of the devil eyes soon. I think you're able to see where it is that um, it's happening. I've just had a little look and it looked in fairly good focus for you. So I think with each stroke you are seeing some value I'm adding. I want to know from um, I can't remember the name, I apologise. Was it Donna who does turtles? Just woke up in Australia and done some? Because I want to know how that went for you. Did you do them swimming together? Okay, so that one comes around there like that. Why did it let you like me times that? Turned out that I had first two video live and went off chat and actually live. <laughs> it's looking good. You're starting to see him coming alive, aren't you? Definitely doesn't look like this, but I'm not going for it to look like that. I'll keep saying that to make myself feel better. I literally am drawing him. So there is poisonality comes out and I connect with him. Yeah, that comes around his nose there like that. There's his little uh, shadow under his stubble just there. That's where it gets to his beak. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Your face, his face just appeared when he switched video. <laughs> Paula, what's Paula been up to? Mine looks better. Why, thank you. <laughs> All right. All righty. She's off. She's off lingo bingo on a Sunday. I 
I love building up the different tones and the different colours. I, it's just, I never realised, like, because I'm still learning, I'm on, I'm on my art journey, and it was, um, ah, Katie Jobling, when I watched hers and how she keeps talking about, let's do it again, let's do another layer, and each colour comes through or adds to it, and I'm like, nah. But then when I watched it and I'm like, yes, and then when I did it myself, I'm like, she's right. Every time you add a layer, you're not necessarily always covering up the other layer, but it is adding that little bit of addition to it. I think that's the word I'm looking for. And you get started to get them like natural shadows and, and stuff like that. So yeah. So Anna is on her iPad. Johnny, be right back fan membership on the other day. <laughs> Let me go see if I can find it. Yeah, you find Sharon. You come on the art journey with us. Popping it around the eyes here. Shadowing it up and then I'm going to start to come in with the darker colours. goes down the eye there and round but we are going to want to get that to pop with dark colours again soon little bag under his eye there bless him all right i need to pop that colour out there a little bit because i've got to chunk his face up because his eyes were going a little bit too out from his head <laughs> Did I say that right even? I don't know. Just having a little colour there because that comes around. I think that's where his beak will be. Alright mister, let's give you some eyes now. Let's start to get that to pop. And then we're going to start to tone it in a little bit darker now. Yeah, it is rewarding, isn't it? Hello, Dawn. Welcome. I think the art journey is something that is incredibly... And I know when we're in the moment, we feel disappointed in ourselves if we've not got what we want. We might want to throw things in the bin. And I've thrown things in the bin before in a tantrum. But when you actually remember that you've probably learnt a lot at that point... It's not really a waste. I mean, yes, you've wasted materials, but. All right, it's time to bring his dark eyes in now because I'm happy where they are. It's almost like a diamond. That's the shape I'm seeing. And I've got to come around with a grey underneath there. And the soul, hopefully should start coming that one there it's not a diamond it's interesting when you do two eyes because depending on where the camera angle is they're not going to be uniformed and that's what you have to remind your eye that they are not going to be the same because that turtle's slightly got his head to the right so even though his eyes are roughly in the same place they are slightly different and if you try and draw what you think you think it is that's when you'll start to lose your 3Dism. I'm coming around with a, a little grey now around the base of his eye, just to give that contrast. That's where I'm seeing here, so I'm just going to follow it. I'm not going to do where I think it should be. And then at the corner here, it comes around and we're seeing that grey sort of there and if you if you go too big like I've just done there we are going to be coming back as well with the the cream so you're going to bring that back again so try try not worry about it being too perfect because you're going to keep going over it multiple multiple times and you'll keep fixing it you'll keep working it until you're happy now if I was doing eyes on maybe a human that's where you put a little bit of <laughs> the shadow in there not shadow the light in there catching but 
There ain't no light in here. Well, I'll show you, I mean, if you do that, just a tiny little bit there. There. It's a bit too big on that one. I'll come back and just black that out. I'm going to go a little bit higher up. So we're just doing tricks with the lighting now. I mean, you wouldn't get this, it would be totally black. But I just want to show you the thing with the eyes that you can do to sort of bring them alive but you can't do it with underwater creatures <laughs> so I'm now going to block that out and to be jet black all right coming in with his nostrils now um hopefully they're in the right space for where I want it to be for this composition Okay, now I'm going to start to come in with some darker shades there. Funny, I thought I'd watch a short video and jump in the shower and start payroll. <laughs> Kim, I'm so sorry. You know what? You can you can still do payroll. Go on with your chores. Have it playing in the background. Have a shower. Come back. I'll probably only be onto the head still at that stage. This is why I wanted to start it a bit earlier, just because of the length of time that I knew that this was going to take, and you get to see. The, rea the reality it is for for me when we're doing this but it doesn't take long to start seeing it come to life and start off so now I've just got a dark brown so this one is a uh, burnt umber so before we had burnt sienna now we've got burnt umber a little bit on my stick and just trying to again darken these areas up once you're happy with where they are but also trying to remember the angles to try and bring that 3D, hopefully, effect again. And as I've said before, I will come back and there'll be tones of blue going through this at some stage. Now, you can choose to not build up all these different tones and layers, but when I bring you in closer, you can see every colour that I've used so far uh, within reason. And I like to paint it rough not perfect and what I mean by rough is I'm not bothered if I don't fill every gap because I like it to look like a, an old wise turtle that's been under the water for ages and it ain't going to be picture perfect okay so he definitely has the dark diamond here Going in with that dark diamond. Hope you're finding this interesting or relaxing. If you want to see more of me doing lives like this, so that I mix them up for you all between resin and sculptures and everything like that let me know because it's very helpful to understand i am going to be doing art classes regularly for my members and i'm just going to share little bits of my wisdom knowledge or we do like a little art club together to encourage us all to keep learning all right so once i've got this in uh, what i'll probably do then is once I've got the head roughly right with the patches and tones, I'd leave that and then I'd come on to the, the shell uh, and the legs and then I'd come back and I'll add more layers in there. So at the minute, the next darkest thing is around this area here. So it's a point, diamond, down, flick to the left. <laughs> it's like I'm in a driving school class, isn't it? Yeah. Because I don't know what that shape is though, it's a very weird shape. But it comes down at a slight angle, fans out at the end, and follows roughly around the eye. And I'm also referencing my camera 
I've got one to the right, one to the left, because I step away from my art and I have a little look at what I'm seeing in the camera because that gives you a different perspective and sometimes you can think, okay, that looks okay. Or, yep, yeah, nope, what were you doing there, Sharon? What on earth were you doing there? And this is where you do the dance. The dance of acrylics, the dance of the tones. So by getting that dark there, you should be starting to see his beak or mouth area come forward a little bit. That's the intention there. We're now starting to play with tones, shadows and everything so that your brain tricks into thinking you're doing something that you're not. I hope that makes sense. All right, I'm adding a little bit of white to the burnt umber just because I want to darken this here from the cream that was underneath. So that when I add the other dark umber to here, it's going to blend through a little bit. I know what I mean. Just add a little bit to that beak there, but that's got a lot of yellow in it for later, so we'll do that there. And a little bit of the umber now, burnt umber again, that's going neat onto my brush. But we've also got that cream under there. He's got a line that goes down there and a shadow that goes around there. Okay, he's starting to look aged. I like that. <laughs> I do actually really enjoy it though when I start to see him coming alive that way. It's been a lot of joy. Who have we got in here then? So Anna, welcome for, well, if you have joy, what is it? Back to watching the turtle emerge. Well, I'm glad you've seen him emerge. Uh, oh, Johnny, everybody's struggling to find it. Oh, thank you all for reminding everybody about the like button. And good morning, Be Bear. I hope that whatever you're doing in your worlds today, you are enjoying waking up to Sharon if you are across the pond. And if you are in your evening, thank you for being with me. If you are in the UK and you're going on with Sunday lunches for everybody, I hope that you're minding, finding time to still sit and relax. If you can't watch me live, I hope you're enjoying the replay. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going under his eye now again. I want to get that diamond there. Is it a diamond triangle? Comes around and down and there. So that's going to help with that making his eye start to pop out and then we're going to come with the cream my meal at this stage would be like what is it that you're doing sharon that no he wouldn't say that he's, he's very supportive but he's like yeah are you, are you doing anything else with this yet well yeah i'm seeing five layers ahead of where it is that i need to do and i think that's what you have to try and remember think ahead don't get worried with where it looks like now and then think okay when i add that next color I know it's going to pop so at the minute I'm just setting the scenes for the 3D I'm shaping the eyes because I want them to start popping out soon like bulging a little bit and I know what I'm going to do three stages after here but unfortunately you people don't so you've got to trust where it is that I'm doing <laughs> we're going on a magical mystery tour Okay, I need everyone to feel sorry for me immediately, if, if not sooner. I live in the Pacific Northern because it's calling someone 105. And yes, it was 113 today. Oh, oh, that's not good, is it? So sorry, be bet I'm feeling incredibly sorry for you straight away. <laughs> it's a bit humid here. Oh, you're getting a heat wave as well. Oh, make sure you drink plenty of fluids. I think it's the right kinds of fluids, isn't it, with that sun? It's um, not necessarily just water. All right, she says. Okay. 
just taking a step back myself and having a little look where it is and I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of this umber around the, the mouth again it's like a kind of shadow there I'm just going to try and build the shadow in now so when I come back later and I might not make him grumpy like he looks on here and then down here where his double chin is blessing it's very <laughs> wrinkly and lined I'm just going to scuff the burnt umber that I had there on there but this area is a lot lighter so I'm just going to add a little bit more white to that burnt umber and just try and bring through some shades I've lost a little bit here of the line so I'm just going to add the line back in around here down there this is what I was saying about don't worry if you shoot over any of the lines that you are having or anything like that because you keep coming back and you keep adding until you get the desired effect. So down here it's a more, this is what I'm now just, I won't say fighting back because I'm not fighting back anything but what I am doing is bringing back those those lines and we've just got a drill happening now how inconsiderate of those people <laughs> how very dare they getting on with work but what I do need to do is bring these eyes back so this comes out a little bit further Bring it down and then we're going to go a little, I need a smaller brush for that. But a smaller brush because I want to make sure I don't mess up too much here. Oop, I've just dropped my brush all in the paint. That's not what you want to happen, isn't it? <laughs> So this I need to do the little, um, I'm going to say half moon dip, is that even what I want to say? Follow it around a little bit there and do it so it looks like it's coming out. And then across there. Alright, his eyes coming out a little bit more now, which is good. And do the same to the other side. And then under Okay. Let me know if you can hear me okay because of the drill that's going off. I'm gonna come a little bit lighter around here now. that area there and then we'll start bringing some of that cream back through those patches so I know my hands in the way now I'm just bringing back some of the lines that I've lost there Yep, you can hear me. Brilliant. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, do we have Miss Felicia in the house? Miss Felicia, I hope you are well. Welcome. Welcome to Tranquil Zen Sharon. We're just starting our turtle a little bit earlier today, so people can then go off and watch other lives. Felicia, do you have a live that is due on today? Let us all know. I hope you're well. So, I'm just trying to 
bring back some of this area here, but at the same time, I don't want to. I'm getting distracted, you see. I want to, where possible, start to move on to the shell now so that you can start to see a little bit of where it is that I'm trying to do. Now, those patches could come down a little bit, but at the minute, I'm going to leave him there. And again, we will be adding blue, we will be adding greens, we will be adding darker tones. At the minute, I just wanted to make sure I was very happy with how he was. Um, and I think, I think ultimately, I'm very happy with how he's shaping up. It's not finished, it's not perfect. It's where he needs to be just for now. And I'm going to come back now and start to do his shell. So this is where he might start growing again. <laughs> Little body and big head. <laughs> it looks really funny to me. Right, so this is where I am going to add maybe a little bit of blue. No, Sharon. No, you're not. You're not going to add a bit of blue yet. What you're going to do is just continue to add a little bit of this burnt umber with white and we'll build it up again I just want to make sure so this should really be where his eyes are here is where his shell should come from so I am just going to start to give him the shape he should be now so he's definitely grown he's grown a bit bless him that's because his head went bigger <laughs> but I'm happy with that so I'm going to paint it in solid with the cream to start with and then I'll start to add those shells now I'm mindful that his shell part finishes just above his his mouth there so I'm going to take that around and then taper that down and then we'll start to add in his patchworks, darker tones, everything like that I just want to make sure that once I've done this part, I'm very happy with the size of the shell compared to the head and the proportions, everything like that. I'm going to also check, check chat. <laughs> Miss Crafty Nook, are we all jumping on you anyway? <laughs> But tell me, do you have a live tonight, Miss Felicia? So at the bottom eye again. So his flippers are probably going to go off the edge now. But that is okay. See, you're constantly tweaking your design as you go. Alright, that is where his top of his shell is going to be. I think that'll be good. Right, I'm going to start to bring through some of the patchwork tones again. You're sipping your coffee. You sip that coffee. Are you having a Dunker biscuit as well? So we're going to come in and add the burnt sienna. Again, just so we can get some tones in. And I'm just referencing roughly where the patches are on his shell. And he has a beautiful shell that's got lots of um, lots of blue reflecting on the green. And he's got another little shell piece there. Miss Felicia, I hope when you joined you could definitely see it's a turtle that I'm painting. <laughs> and then we have another one that is here. I have another shell uh, patchwork there. And then there is. I 
think um, that'll do nicely. If his head's that big, half and half, half and half. Okay, that, yeah, that's right. Don't know if you can see what I was doing with my fingers there. That's just trying to check from a composition point of view it made sense and that I've not got any weird things happening. Miss Felicia, I am um, cutting it to the wire with our project. I'm, I definitely might have to ask for grace and maybe an extension. So something's not right with that because if that's going to come down and around, I'm going to come back there, and come back there, and then it's going to come around there. So his body's going to get bigger at the bottom, and then that will make more sense. All right, going to add some burnt. Um, this one is umba. works it's blending in beautifully with his head isn't it Ooh. no worries Donna thank you so much for hanging out you enjoy your workshop. <laughs> Thank you so much, Donna, and good luck with your workshop. <laughs> you love painting, you could watch for hours. It's your hair day. <laughs> well, you can um, be drying your hair, you can put your headphones in and be just watching, or, or just watch while you're drying your hair. Once I start to add the blues and that, that I keep talking about, you will notice um, a difference between the head and the shell. At the minute, not so much. But I might actually, because it's acrylic, so I can add a little bit. I might just add a little bit of the turquoise, just so it humours me. I'm going to add it to almost dry brush. little bit on the brush and I'm just going to start to hopefully add some blues to this might seem weird to start with but should help you maybe see that there's water sort of reflecting on it now I will wash it over when it's fully dried but I can't do that at the minute I might go and do some on the head actually Just little bits of blue every so often being dragged through. Alright, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to come through with his... I'm going to come in with his body now. That's going to be mainly cream to start with. And I am going to cut off his feet again. Don't cry, I will give him in back. We won't be cruel. Oh, I tipped out purple because it's in a white pot. Well, we'll make use of that. We'll make our own brown up now. Felicia, you don't worry. It's not about comparison. It is about creatives working together, spreading the love and having fun together and all of us going outside our comfort zone. I am so far behind with what we're meant to be doing. It's not funny. I'm trying to work on my son's 21st birthday present, but I'm not having much luck with that. I tried a layer on that, a layer on the project we're working on. Um, not so much. 
I've got to go back to the drawing board. Okay, I am forgetting his feet now because I need it to sort of all make sense as to where it will be. Oh, he's, he's going to be a little fatty. So, this is the way I do it, it just helps me understand. got a tiny little bit more yellow in there only because you do see a lot of yellow in the bottom half of your turtles and again this is where I can start to see if my head is where it's meant to be and keep tweaking it until not. How are we all anyway? Oh, Felicia, but I'm here to be with you and help you. I've been, well, how long have I been doing art really? Since 2014? So we're in it together to share. And there are so many things I learned from you, Miss Felicia. We all learn from each other. This is actually my stuff more than uh, resin. All right, so what am I looking for now is, am I happy with this, which is a, I think so, and it will look, make more sense once his legs go back in. I'm not bothered that there's blue coming through because there is blue reflecting on him anyway. But I am going to try and darken up some areas now and start giving him shadow under where his head's going to be. Alright, let's start to give a little bit of shadow now. Again, trying to keep it fairly smooth though, because when I paint my legs in, I don't want it to, I'm trying to hide his neck now into his tummy, <laughs> blending those two colours through, but give him a little shadow because I know I've got to tweak a little bit there. But bringing him, I'm connecting him together now in my opinion. Connecting the top to the bottom and just seeing if the shape I'm having is correct. And he has a little bit of shadow here, a little bit of shadow here, a little bit of patchwork stuff going here. And what else does he have? Uh, when I put the legs in, we'll be able to see. He will have shadows here. I'll have shadows here. And this is where I'm going to try and just scuff my brush a little bit so it's not smooth because he's got so many um, creases in there. What am I missing him? Oh, thank you, Miss... Uh, Felicia, glad you enjoyed him. It's coming, it's coming alive. I need to add a little bit of white to this now. At least everybody can tell he's a turtle, so that's that's a positive. <laughs> and he has some kind of. It does have yellow in here, but we're just gonna. 
it's got little bits of white just can't get over his big chin on here it's like really does he really have that big a chin well it looks like he does draw what you see Sharon draw what you see Okay, he also has, I'm going to remove the excess paint off, but then I'm going to try and scuff here a little bit, because hopefully that will make him look a little bit more weathered. And we can worry about shading soon. It's a little bit darker there though, so I'm going to just try and give the darkness under there. I might have to get my blue brush in. So if you focus on the shadows as well, like you see, you should start to be bringing depth into it. I don't know if you can see that. So all I'm doing now is the shadows underneath. So I'm just focusing because that should give the illusion that is where his back end is. And that he's got the darkness from the bottom hitting. Um, that's in theory what that should be. Add a little bit more burnt umber, a little bit on my brush and just scuff it. Just trying to build up a little bit of texture in areas. And I will come back and remove that. And to give him a little bit of a shadow under where his shell is. And we want a little shadow under this fatty chin. And there's a little bit of a shadow here, I think, where the shell. All right, we'll leave that part like that for now. And now what I'm going to do is bring in his legs again. Oh, the fun. The fun, the fun, the fun. $65 use of code yesterday. Oh, okay. You know what? I need to, uh, I need to order some more stuff. <laughs> I'm going to concentrate on this leg here. So again, I'm going to come in with my light cream that I made myself and I am going to watch where it is so I know that this flipper has to finish halfway up the eye so about here I'm going to say now because I've adjusted him <laughs> he grew a little bit I'm going to come around but he does come under his shell here And he sort of sits, I think. Yeah, because that's the shadow that's making it look different. So that comes about halfway down there. So in theory, that should be right. But we can keep tweaking it if not. This little thorn is about there. And then we're just going to get this flipper on, I think. Beautiful. I'm now going to just blank him out again in the light cream. Can you remember the reason why? Students, can you remember why? Sharon, if you don't do the flippers and paint some pokies on it, it could be a blackfish. It really could, couldn't it? He's uh, a diverse turtle, what can we say? He's a turtle of many colours. Now I'm seeing if you've all been good students. <laughs> it's 
See, none of you are listening. Anyway, an alien landed and uh, took me away in his spaceship last night. Now, I asked um, a question, and I'm wondering if you can answer it, people. I was hyperventilating when the alien took me. All right, I'm going to bring that one down here. So I'm saying about when you spend all that time working on the background and then you're like, how much of it has been cut out? It really was a little bit of overkill last night, if I'm, if I'm saying so myself. <laughs> Kim, thank you. You are listening. Aliens are making your payroll a lot better. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to entertain. Hopefully that is. And again, I'm not trying to get all that blue out because... Now, to start with, it, it looks a bit weird, the flipper, because you're like, well, it just looks like a caveman stick coming out. And you know what? If you thought that, you'd be like, yeah, you're right. It does. There's a caveman going out there and trying to get some meat for his uh, people. But magic will happen when we start to put sticks on there. Now, Neil didn't save me, Lee. He didn't save me. <laughs> and they brought me back. I was just seeing if people were paying attention, but it seems like you were. So, um, well done. But I did ask a question of why... I can't remember now. I, <laughs> I've bored myself. Oh, I've just remembered I've left my cameras on up there. That's not good. I'm going to have to get up there before they burn out. So that wants to come quite high. So this one is going to really need to go about here because it's wider as well. So we are just going to paint around down. roughly the same this one's gone a little bit yellower but that's okay we're gonna add yellow to this one as well scuff it in you'd be surprised how this suddenly becomes 3d that I get to see the shimmers at the bottom and a little bit there I will be uh, I'm gonna get my self organized and actually start putting some of my work available for sale again so this one will be for sale and you got to see it brought alive I'm feeling that confident that it will be a good piece <laughs> it will be for sale Sorry about my hand then, I have to think about where it is. Sorry, I went very quiet then, into my creative zone. Now, oh, that was the question. Why does it not matter if you can see some of the blue? Why does it not matter that you can see some of the blue coming through still? Can you remember? you're uh, enjoying seeing him come to life in all seriousness I know that um, you are wanting it you were asking for it on the last one so hopefully finding that it's giving you value watching it and understanding the amount of say work but patience that has to go in if you're willing to do it and be rough with his strokes it looks like he's putting his arms out to you for a cuddle at this stage. Yes, he has blue reflections, Cosmic Carol, because he's in the ocean. I don't know, Johnny, you did know you got it right. Why does what not matter? Paula, <laughs> terrible. No points for your student. You've been 
Turtles and Aliens a good movie, Tyler. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Anyway, back to this. Wow, I found a cool time to log in Turtles and Aliens. <laughs> Bond woman, you did. I was I was testing you all to see if you were still with me. And you were with me and you're all still chatting with each other beautifully. So that's lovely. I am going to now work on his 3D-ness on his paws. <laughs> paws? Do they even have paws? Flippers. What is it for a turtle? Is it a flipper? Is it a paddle? Is it a rudder? Is it a foot? Is it an arm? What is it? Anyway, I'm making my own um, brown here. And we're going to build it up slowly. Now, this, where you put your brush stroke here, does matter. And what I mean by that is everyone, oh, legs, flippers, I don't know. Everyone you put, you want the shape to be curving where you want your eye to go so that it helps with that illusion. So I am curving mine slightly. Now I'm not following their shapes, I'm just following where it is that they've done because hopefully that will give you an illusion or your brain should fill the spots that it's coming from under something and it should help. That's if you can see. It should help start to look like... I can't even say what I'm trying to say but you all know what I mean. be using a thinner brush so I'm just quickly putting it on at this stage again just so I can sort of see perspective wise if I'm getting this right And then if it doesn't look right, you then tweak it again until it does. Looked it up, the call flippers. Well done, Anna. <laughs> All right, so that needs to come around there. They need to go down that way, down that way, down there, down there. He's got his little talon there, bless him. There's going to be lots of little ones. All right. I do declare it's flippers there. I like that one. Drop some baking in my keyboard so it just keep going. Who railed it with my new cup? <laughs> Love your turtle. Oh, thank you, Cher. I'm glad you're enjoying him. He is coming alive, slowly but surely. I'm very happy with how he's progressing. I am making my brown and making him a little bit darker. For the brown. Oh, oh, dear. A little bit of white. Maybe a little bit more yellow in there. Now this turtle definitely does have a lot of yellow in there. So not only will we come around with the blues, we will be adding yellows as well. But they're all the, the parts that I get excited about. They're the, I think this has actually gone lighter, not darker. Yeah, lighter. The, what am I trying to say, Sharon? The yellow and all the highlights and the low lights because that's what make it it pop so uh, we have two real turtles and Tyson yellow and belly turtle yes they do have a lot of yellow don't they in there YouTube is wigging out on me I was watching and saw flickers and looked away and paint dominoes and next thing I hear Sharon was hi Felicia again look back and all 
he had was a well Stacy you're here now the flip is shaping up nicely oh thank you right I'm getting paint all over my arms now because as my pads got more in there I'm getting messy Paula I'm getting messy again all right let's start to bring his flipper more alive now Excuse me while I go quiet again. Amuse yourself. <laughs> Sorry if I'm pulling weird faces as well while I paint. Do not have a glamorous painting face. around there as it blends into his wrinkles and to the skin. like this it's like patchwork quilt for some reason though I always think zebra 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 maybe I should try and do it not zebra oh my word Sharon giraffe that's what I'm trying to say all right that needs to go out of the way because I can't see what you were all up to hello Hayley welcome what's the name of the paintbrush I Depends. This one is a uh, Len Bicky, L E N B I C K I. They're the detailed ones, and then the other ones I've got is, I think it's W Lot W L O T. I just get them from Amazon. I uh, I should invest in some very special brushes, but I don't. Hello, who's just come into the room? Welcome everybody that's popping in, popping out. Thank you for hanging out. We are bringing this one, but I do want a name for him. So if you do have a name for this turtle, let me know. He needs a name, bless him. He looked a bit grumpy to start with, but we're gonna we're gonna turn him around. We're gonna turn that frown upside down, in my opinion. Have we got any names? Polly. Is the palette just plastic? This is a tear off sheet. Um, I use those but I do have plates and I, I am going to make myself a, a resin palette tray. I think that's what you're asking for Paula. Merry man. Let's name the turtle. Oh, Glenda. Why thank you. That's a lovely message to read. Okay, he, he is coming alive nicely. make sure I'm very happy with the flipper and making sure it looks like it's the right way. Yeah, 
again I'm not looking at the uh, photo for the shapes and not trying to marry that at all just really where does the shape direction go and just scuff in a little bit of that brown again just to blend in try and get his chinny chin chin double chinny sort of there My, my natural instinct is to want to give him a shadow under there, but it doesn't want it on the... Uh... Sorry, just had a little look back there. Let's see what's going on. Horace, chase the alien <laughs> Yes, or is it one of the wet palettes? What's a wet palette? What is a wet palette, Paula? Don't get all technical on me. It is a tear-off palette, disposable palette for use with oils and acrylic. Is that what you needed? Oh, Cosmic Carol, thank you. <laughs> Timmy the Turtle. <laughs> I love Timmy the Turtle. Timmy the Turtle's a good name. Alright, I feel, I feel like... I could um, sort of leave this area. So I'm putting a little bit of the lighter brown or cream now on and just trying to get a little bit of texture, putting little blobs here and there, trying to make it look like it's a little bit, a bit old and wrinkly, cracked. And you get that by just adding a little bit of highlight, low light. Want him to look wise. Timmy the turtle needs to look wise. Alrighty. Okay, he's got soul. But I will need to, at some stage, make the face stand out a little bit. I need to make the head pop out a little bit more and dial down uh, the shell. But we can do that later. We've got some shadows we can put there, but we need to leave it. We need to do some more highlights and, and low lights in here. So I'm just going to grab my little brush, add a little bit more white to the cream that I had already. And we're going to just try and give a few more highlights in here and I'm definitely going to get my little if you can see it doesn't I'm I'm not necessarily being precise I'm trying to just make it as I said before look organic and just put defined lines were in between the brown to hopefully make it look a little bit, I don't know, organic. So I'm just going around with that cream again under here because where his flip is angled, it's got an, a little cream edge all the way to it. Oh, didn't mean to make it that big. That's all right, we can work with that. Okay, see what that looks like on there. I'm going to keep going with those lines. I'm going to make sure that blends in with that area there because that will help it look like it's curved. What it should do, in theory. I think I said on one of my paintings when I was doing this, I'm enjoying my paintings more when they have obvious brush strokes in there. And that it's not pretty. That doesn't sound right though, does it? Rustic. I think that's the the one I'm going for. Because I think it just adds more texture and organicness. I know I say that a lot. I'm going to watch that word now, aren't I? Okay, so. 
Oh, I feel like I've got a spider on my leg. Oh, panic, panic, panic. But hopefully it should look textured. I want to say textured. I've lost a bit of brown there. I'll have to go back there. I hope you can see a difference with each stroke I'm doing. And there it is adding a little bit. Now, I will come down with some blue there when it's dry because I know that there's going to be a shadow here and a shadow there and then it's that area there that's going to pop and we can come around with some light when we're ready for it like just pure white there just on the tip of where his, his pointy thing will be but we can bother with all that later she says as she applies a white to her turtle here and I am going to look what's going on in chat Time for a natural pause. All right, what's going on in chat then? So, hi Johnny. By his colour and shape of shell. What is it? Turbo the turtle. <laughs> uh, a girl or a boy? Do you know what? I definitely think this one is a boy. I definitely think this one's a boy. Okay, we're going to do the same here. But in between, what I keep doing is just adding a few bits of colour or texture just so that it gives it time to dry and then we dry, dry, and then we can come back. I just really am just trying to build up his skin here and those tones. There is a little bit more yellow around this area here. You don't want to go too much at this stage, just a little bit there. All right, put it down, Sharon, get on with the next one. Okay, we're going to do rinse and repeat now. We are going to rinse and repeat. I'm now going to start to build up my shapes in this one here. We'll go sparingly with the colour again to start with. This one's more red, so we, the shapes need to be coming a little bit more where I'm putting my brush now, flipped it around. Some fairly big shapes on this one though. I think his little point's a little bit far down than it should be, but oh well. And then he has a row. Are you all enjoying this by the way? <laughs> have I missed something I've got to go back and watch over this chance so the real difference is the tail of a female has a short skinny one and the male one has a larger fatter one are we talking about head <laughs> the charcoal position close to the end of the tail Yeah. to tell the difference between the six of a turtle check the claws the longer they are determines if it's a female long claws female well, I think these are long, so is she going to be female then? Is that what we're saying? Is Timmy now Tasha? Tasha the turtle. Now I know we are not seeing much of this colour coming through. A little bit more there. Kind of look a little bit more intense with the colour. Building in that shadow there. Shadow there. Shadow there. It's definitely reaching out for you all going, Mama! Okay, let's 
flatten it out here. bring him in darker now now he needs a bit of a shadow here that shadow is definitely there just bringing in some shadows just toning down the areas there definitely is a larger shadow there the shadow is almost going over the shell. Okay. All right, I'm going to bring through my burnt sienna, burnt umber, sorry, burnt umber Sharon. I'm just going to try and make some proper darker little bits. You still with me people? She looks like a Jezebel. Oh my God. Oh, Johnny. Jezebel. I love, love, love. <laughs> oh, Jezebel the turtle was floating around looking for Timmy. Timmy the turtle was nowhere around. So Jezebel got a little bit feisty. Trying to be as quick as I can for you all, but at the same time be true to the process and the art. Okay, bringing him, bringing her, bringing Jezebel in a few wrinkles. Bless her. She's an aging woman. She's been out on the town quite a bit. So I don't want these sort of like patches. I'm trying to make them just look a little bit like a rough skin, bless her. She's had an hard life, Jezebel. She's been searching the ocean for a fella for a long time. She's not quite found him yet. Anna, I am so happy that you were enjoying watching him appear in the process. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Paula, bless her, the encyclopedia. I love it. Jezebel thanks you. She feels like you're educating the world on uh, the hard tr troubles as a female. I'd love to know if actually I really love bond your rainbows so if anybody has an art channel whether it be YouTube or Facebook and you want people to go over and support you and see you pop a little rainbow after your uh, name and then if you are 
a supportive art community person, you might want to pop over and see other people's work. Give them a little thumbs up. Share the love. I know. <laughs> I know. She was naked. Jezebel was naked, but I'm doing my best to bring her alive and give her clothing pretty quickly. Uh, she's hoping to pull tonight, so she wants to look her best. It's an hard life for our Jezebel. Trolling those ocean waters. Okay, so I'm liking the 3D-ness of her. Uh, I'm going to work a little bit now on shadowing. I know that there's a lot I still need to do on here, actually. Let me just... trying to make sure I'm happy with where her stripes are. Just again adding to the shading on the area. I don't know if you've noticed that that's where I do every time I finish an area or I'm working on an area, I keep coming back to the tummy area just to try and keep adding those different values there. And there is patches here which is almost under the shell. I'm going to try and do that there. Okay, now I feel like I'm going to leave her flippers as they are for now. And now what I'm going to concentrate on is diluting down her shell a little bit. And bringing in a bit more cream. Because the head, I want the head to sort of stand out. So I'm just going to now start to manipulate on everything. Heather, we are here for you. You take as long as you want. We can still go back and look at your back catalogue and support you in your current channel. Thank you all for your kind work. <laughs> 3D, you're seeing it. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for coming back. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this. I am now going to try and get this shell to come away from the face. So I'm going to do that by just adding a little bit more cream. I need to go lighter. I'm just doing the dark to start with to help with the shadow. Because from the angle she is at, she's not got a huge amount there. So I need to I'm going to lighten her up a bit. Jezebel, we're going to give you a nice new coat. We're just going to lighten you up a little bit. And then if I get it wrong and I need to darken it again, that's what we will do. And that's what we're doing. We're just dancing currently with the paints until we get something I'm happy with. She's 
very light under that way as well. Oh, that's right. I've got to come back with my light cream and blend that up there. I nearly forgot that, so I'm going to come back through now with a few more little bits of this light cream here just to keep getting that texture and then all right I need to go lighter there even lighter 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 and I'm probably gonna have to get a thin brush this is the part I really enjoy though now um, the, the hard parts done the turtle's done when I say that as far as composition now it's just elevating it and trying to perfect it and that's all done with the trickery on the mind and all that kind of cool stuff when it comes to shadows Are you finding any of what I'm sharing with you useful? Is it helping you or is it stuff you knew already and you're just enjoying the process? <laughs> He's really looking like my friend now. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you enjoy it. Well, thank you so much Cheryl for popping in. Take care, watch whatever you want later, it's absolutely fine. So I've got that very light colour now. Oh, I used the wrong brush again. Just going to clean that out. Paula, I'm glad it's helpful. I just talk out loud just so that maybe there's some stuff that you can learn or maybe there's some things you can consider. So I've got the very light colour now and again. We're going to do what we did to the other, which is we're going to add, hello Zeus, the cream just at the edge here. So that's where... That's where it is on here and then just bring it up and around into the flipper. Got a bit of rain here. I'm just going to highlight some of those cream bits and we're going to do it quite organically again. It doesn't matter if it touches over the browns but hopefully with each stroke you should see a little bit more texture or interest coming onto the piece and if not I'm failing you but you have to be willing to keep going over all right I need to bring that around so that's going to have its curve So not as light at the back because that's got more shadow. And then if I feel I want to add more brown I can. But at the minute I am just going to I'm looking for, now I'm not looking at the composition, I'm just looking at where there is lights or darks and just trying to bring that through a little bit. So I'm just going to step back now and have a little look. So proportionally, I'm quite happy. There's just something that bugs me here a little bit, so I'm going to work on this a little bit it's just the way his flippers angled oh Jezebel sorry I called you a man then I do apologize Jezebel I don't want to lighten it up I'm just trying to see where it is hello Sus. you can say hello hey right. just trying to correct the angle that that was at because that bugged me Okay, so I think what I want to do now is I've lightened this up a lot, but I want to add now 
a very 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 little bit of blue I'm almost going to just put water so it's almost coloured water rather than paint on my brush and then I'm going to look at just trying to add some shadows and dragging it over I want it to be transparent hence why I put a lot of water in there and the blue shadow is more or less down this part here and then around there and it is all around here so just bringing that around there there's a little bit more blue showing on here around there I'll just drag that around and see what that looks like if it just creating mud just leave it like that for now and then I'm going to do the same at the other side that's more or less a triangle though and again if you don't get it right and you're not happy with it you can always come and add more brown on top of it at the minute we're being quite bold at the minute it doesn't worry me if this part didn't work out or if I wasn't happy because I can always oh that's a bit too solid and now I can always paint back over it and I think that's what you have to do remove the fear remove the fear that you're going to ruin your piece you might have to give cosmetic surgery to a section but you're not really going to ruin it that much I think that's it from a blue point of view there. Okay, I don't know if you can even see that, what you're doing there. Bye Lee, back. Enjoy, have a good day in your studio. Hope you're inspired. okay I've just got now a clean brush with a little bit of water and I'm just going to try and blend that through a little bit hello Zeus hello my lovely okay my next bit of energy is going to be focused on the the face she says as she starts working on the flipper <laughs> It is, it really is, honestly. I'm going to move on there, but I got distracted. I got distracted by this, and I'm like, right, come on, let's do this. I want to give a little bit of shade in there. That's where the flipper's got a shadow casting back on it. And then around there. So, tiniest little bit. Do you want it to play, Mr. Zeus? I know. We'll go for a walk very soon. We'll go for a walk very soon. Okay, so we've got a nice shadow there. Hello, Susie. Uh, gonna have that shadow here as well. Hello. Alright, we're putting a shadow there where the flipper is reflecting. Should I cast in a shadow? And then down there. I'll add a little bit of yellow while I've got it still here. Hello, Zeus. drag some yellow through up here. The reason I've gone to the yellow now is because it's uh, on my palette and it's slowly drying so I just want to utilize it while I can and um, it has a little bit of yellow or she does Jezebel sorry here and that should bring a nice little bit of let's say warmth through no yellow there but a little bit I'm add a little bit here um, not really yellow there so I'll put that back but there is shadow here so I'm gonna bring a little bit of that there on the a little bit of yellow on my brush still so it's hopefully gonna be warm 
trying to just give that illusion of a little bit of shadow there. Because I'm only putting a little bit on it, it's not necessarily maybe trying to give that illusion of a shadow there. Okay, so we're going to go back to the, oh, oh, I nearly knocked you over. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you very much, Cosmic Carol. Bye, Johnny, thank you so much for joining. It's welcome. Bye, thank you all so much for popping in. And I'm now just going to work on his face. And then I think for today's sitting, that will be it. But I'm just going to go right back now to highlight some of this area here now and, and tone that in a little bit more. So what I want to do is really work on maybe this area here. I've been avoiding that. And let's see where we go. For his chin. Some nasty shit. Jezebel's got some nasty little wrinkles. I've still got a few people with me. Oh, Melissa, thank you. Appreciate you being here and appreciate those kind words. going over highlighting him I'm trying to bring his face to the front now so this part is the detail work it does take a lot again still time wise but it is time worth invested if you want to take that painting to the next level so I appreciate that people can't stay and watch this whole time and um, I totally get it and I hope if you're coming back multiple times on the rewatches or anything like that, that you are enjoying this. So to get my little uh, wrinkles here, I'm just going to add tiny little dabs here. And hopefully the dark areas between it, it will have to be a bit darker. But I'm trying to give her a little bit of a facelift, bless her. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to give her a facelift. All right, so I might have to go with some yellow here, but I'm just going to highlight it a little bit with the white first, just so that the yellow's going to stand out. This wants a bit of attention then. I moved my chair and I think it scared him. Bless him. Who have we got in here? Just took your aunt and uncle to mass this morning and then cooked dinner for them. I hope that they enjoyed your dinner and I hope you enjoyed your mass. What have we got here? The nose is a lovely heart. It is, isn't it? <laughs> He's... Uh, She's our Jezebel. Lucy, I can't stop just now, sweetheart. Okay, I'm going to highlight the eyes. I'm 
hoping you're noticing each stroke and that you are able to see value that it is adding. This is where I've gone a little bit quiet, I'm afraid, because I'm really enjoying this part myself. Okay. This area here soon I need to focus on where I'm going to continue with the little strokes here. And after the camera's finished I might keep looking at this and thinking right I need to tweak that, I need to tweak that, I need to tweak that. I like to put my art somewhere where I can see it as I'm walking past and then do whatever I need to do if anything books me or if I just want to enhance anything do you all do the same thing Yeah, I never stop tweaking. Okay. So this area here now needs a little bit of yellow bringing through. I'm going to add that into my cream. I'm going to see. It's almost got like a, I don't want it to be too bright. Is that up there? Is that up there? We're starting to make her look a little bit happier now, I think. I if I should put some lipstick on her. Now, we want a little bit of that yellow now coming around here. Just warming some of those tones up. I might have to just come back through with some dark brown soon, but she has just a little bit of yellow there. And she definitely has yellow in her two bits there. She looks like she's got a mouth open at you now. I'm thinking, hmm, what are you all up to? I do say surround yourself with your art. It's a massive thing for you to do. I recommend you doing it. You do see a big improvement on what you've been doing with your work. What 
what I am focused on now is there is some tiny little bits of purple coming into her here. I'm just going to add a little bit because I'm just trying to give some nice colours there that you wouldn't normally associate. But she has just got a little bit there. on her lips and she's got a little bit of purple in her lips it's like a lipstick for her not a lot I'm just painting it on a little bit you might not be able to see it from where you are but when you close up you might be able to see those tones why am I trying to make a smile I am going to, I'm determined to make a smile. I'm going to come in with a little bit of a light colour now, just above her lips, to try and help her, her lips pop a little bit. So this is where you start to do what you want to do as opposed to what you're seeing at the, in the picture, to just try, try and bring the personality in you want, or try and make it pop. It might not, and then you might have to undo it all, but that's all right. <laughs> she might be seeing Bertie down the road who's about to give her a kiss. All right, the little inflections to the right or left. I can hardly, hey, believe me, I zone out. That's why I've got Paula here to rescue me in case I totally do uh, forget what I'm saying or doing. I'm going to get my very fine brush now. Uh, what is this? It's 0.4. Uh, just to try and get those blush lips of hers coming out. And I don't want, I don't know if I want her to be miserable. She's old though, so. My Neil's just come back from visiting his mum like she's lost her teeth she's got no she's got no she's got a, she's forgot to put a false teeth in but i am going to do a little upward inflection there inflection rather than a downward one i know that turtles do have them down but i'm going to make her look like she's uh she's happy bless her hello just finishing alive I'm just finishing the live. Just before you come in and start telling your dirty jokes for the whole world to hear. Okay, so I don't want to do it in a dark black or anything, but I'm, I'm making a beat go up a little bit there. with a black again for the nose then the eye and then she's, I'm going to use the dark brown or umber she's got tiny little lines bless her where her beak is here and it's got a little, little Y. Hello, Zeus, are you back? She's got a little, little thing that comes down there, like a little Y. And that goes around. I don't want it to look too obvious because I don't want it to look like cartoony, but I do want there to be something there, otherwise it might not look right. So I'm going to put a tiny little bit of that brown on again and I'm going to sort of smudge my brush a little bit because she's got tiny little, tiny little blemishes, bless her, on her beak where she's had a hard life. 
and then she also has a shadow coming down from her top beak here so we're going to put that shadow there even though it's going to look strange to start with you have to trust that because she's got a beak hanging over there there's going to be a little shadow and then she has she's got lines here bless her. i'm going to have to add a few little lines i'm going to do them with a dark brown rather than the black because it'll be too harsh just to try and oh that's too thick try and little lines and i'll see what's happening in chat <laughs> oh do you know what sometimes i i think i'm talking out loud now because i'm so used to doing it and learning how to do it i think i talk to myself like right sharon's going to the toilet now and i am going to be having a wee <laughs> it's like no sharon stop it just adding a few little lines there where there's a Oh, Lee, she's back. Oh my word. Lee, tell me you didn't. Did you try, did you craft and finish your piece in the time I'm still working on this? I, I'm a, I must have the world's longest lives. I do apologise, but I ain't. I ain't anybody that can paint within half an hour. I think this is a wrinkly skin going up to her lip. Okay, so what do I want to do now? Maybe just a few highlights. I'm going to get rid of my low li uh, little brush. And then we'll add a shadow underneath where she's swimming. So I'm just going to the white again. Dabbing it on, dabbing it off. Lee, did you notice the difference when you came back? You just went to my studio. <laughs> well, that makes me feel better because I thought you'd been in, you'd done some ah uh, and i'm still here trying to capture the audience belief that i can do this i'm just looking at some of the shadows again for the lights and just putting some more spots there where uh, the skin's not good bless her the white now I think we might be able to say no I'm going to do the white bear with me I'm getting in my own head now so I'm just going to do a tiny little highlights now with white just in the areas where they're raised and that helps with the illusion that they are raised and hopefully makes them stand out a little bit more got a tiny little bit of white left on my my my, 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 my palette so I'm just using that I'm not doing it in every area I'm just doing it in some areas then we've got to whitewash the bit of the head that's right I've got to whitewash a bit of the head so I'm not too sure what's happening there I need to bring some brown through there because that doesn't make any sense to me. Doing the bottom of the, the beak. A little bit of those areas there and there. A little bit around there. Okay, get rid of the tiny little brush now. I want to fix up these two areas here and there with dark brown. So that's what I'm now going to do. 
not black Sharon, a dark brown, which is really burnt on back. So I've lost a little bit of the the big shapes that I want there. So I'm just going to touch that part up. And that's all we're doing. And that's all you should do really, back and forth until you're really happy. Lost a little bit too much brown, so I'm just coming back. Okay. more sense but it's just a little bit clunky there. I think from that point of view that's done. What I just want to do now is I'm going to maybe add a little bit of blue to the head and then a little bit of shadow underneath for where the turtle is and then that'll be it for tonight and then what I can do is let all this set, come back, check I'm happy tweak any highlights or lowlights that I feel there should be anything that I feel is going to add value just checking from a shell point of view, just giving it but I went a little bit too far there Blending that in with my finger. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm looking at my camera behind me that's on the screen because I can see what that is. And then a little bit of highlights here. Now it does have a tiny little shell here. So there's a little line there. I'm going to draw in where the shell is a little bit and then blur it out a little bit and then that needs to come with a little bit of white see a little bit of shell there shelly 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 so the shell always has a little bit of white just around it here little things coming out here so we've got some white coming in here which is just bringing some of that skin alive it's a little bit under there and some in this area here And I really do want to bring a little bit of this out here. Okay. A little bit of white on its claw. stand back and have a little look and see where I think all right I need to bring in a little bit of blue now so we're going to use very 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 sparingly again find a little bit of blue and hope that the areas I'm going to apply is done it's going to be a white washed again a little bit. 
really put it on the top few sections hopefully your eyes will fill in the rest I don't know what that silly little giggle was then that came out Such a chunky chin. <laughs> I might just add a little bit of yellow just to brighten her up a little bit. I stand back and I'm like, right, that's it, it's done. Then I look and I'm like, yeah, she needs just a little bit of this. Let's give her a little bit of a positive some tones. Let's give her a little bit of chance to, to score Timmy. Timmy the turtle. <laughs> Bless her. Okay, the final thing for this sitting is I'm just going to try and cast a shadow underneath. They also want to try and just get this line a little bit better. At the bottom here where my brush got a little bit. Just done it again, gone even lower. Off my brush. Blue, 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 blue. Now that's going to have a little bit of a shadow. Not a lot, just in the water. to just make it look like it's casting a little bit of shadow not too much hopefully you can see a little bit of a shadow there Just a tiny little bit of deeper colour, which I don't have, so I'll add a bit of purple to it. So there's a tiny little bit of purple to it because I didn't have my ultramarine there, but that just helps. When I say ground, it's not about grounding it, it's about uh, when it's floating it makes it look like it's floating more and um, yeah I think I'm gonna stand back and have a look I may tweak I may tweak her tomorrow but I think I'm overall very happy with the feeling that you get from this piece Yeah, I might bring you in closer to have a little look. I've missed out on all chat. I will catch up. Hello, Juliet. Welcome. Not bad for live. <laughs> Let me bring you in. So when you look close up, it doesn't look as good as it does from a distance. But I think that's the uh, the beauty of uh, painting. 
Ignacio. Let's have a little look. Do you get the feeling that she is having a little stir at you? Do you get a feeling of movement in the ocean? Do you get a feeling of there's a shadow on the base and that she's having a sneaky little peek at you? And do you think she's got any chance of scoring a mate? She's looking for one. So because I've worked on it for quite a few hours now with you, thank you so much for your patience, I am going to leave it for now and then I will work on it in a couple of days. If I do do any tweaks, I'll show the members. I'll do a little video of me attaching. But I don't know, can you see the depth? Can you see the different tones in there? Can you tell how rustic it is as well? And when you look close up, it, it looks pretty naff, doesn't it? Close up. But at the same time, it's beautiful. As you can see all the different brush strokes. And hopefully that gives you the feeling that that's the top of the ocean there with those few little ripples that we put in. And yeah, you've peered into her world. And you saw her to come to life. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you can definitely see the depth. I will let you go. I'm just going to have a quick look at um, oh, at chat before I say goodbye. Apologies, I've got no makeup or anything like that. But yeah, she's done. <laughs> she's good. Um, you feel like you could pinch her cheeks. I'm glad you do. <laughs> I'm glad you like everybody. Thank you so much for it. And thank you for popping in, popping out. I'm glad that you could give her a cuddles. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that this has inspired you to give it a go uh, and to try it. Uh, remember to give me a thumbs up on the way out. Uh, if you want to see more lives like this, let me know. But at least you got to see it real time now, how I do it and, and everything like that. Hopefully you'll learn something. And hopefully, uh, yeah people will leave comments or thumbs up and come back next time next week if i'm not going away on a holiday it will just be a saturday and sunday live not a friday but uh, if i'm not i'll be on holidays and i'll share some photos but thank you all so much for your support thank you so much for um, all your help members and to paula especially for keeping chat and lee for getting that nasty person out earlier um <laughs> love you to paint our turtles oh. well I'm going to love you and leave you now because I want to have my evening I want to hang out with my Neil a little bit I want to hang out with Zeus uh, Julia don't you worry don't you worry you can watch it you can catch up with it later um, there's no issues that's the beauty of these even though I'm doing it real time you get the benefit now of skipping forward to bits that you enjoy yeah and I just want to say thank you all so much. Much love. And I will see you on the next live or the next video. Thank you.